And it's brought in this out to discuss, by discussing the Taliban, uh, the Taliban strategic takeover of certain parts of Afghanistan, which is a, a security expert, Catch Ononaju. Thank you so much for joining us on the news. You have seen how emboldened the Afghan forces have become with their latest action of firing rockets near the presidential palace while the president was leading aid prayer. W was that a revelation of how vulnerable the Afghan government has been or is currently? Well, uh, if you ask me, I will tell you that is ultimately what it would be. Going forward, uh, the Afghan government only had the support of the U.S. forces. Now that the U.S. forces are leaving with nothing to protect the Afghans, of course, you will expect the Taliban to take over. I don't see any force with the capacity to stop the Taliban right now. The figures that say that uh, close to 80% of the Afghan countryside are currently in Taliban hands, enhancing their position as they go to do negotiations. So I do not see the Afghan government surviving much longer once the U.S. withdrawal becomes full and, uh, and completed. Uh, I think Taliban will take over Afghanistan. Would you say that the latest action of these Taliban fighters, you know, this Taliban group, you know, affected the uh, peace negotiations between the Afghan government and the Taliban themselves? I will tell you right away, the Taliban were never sincere about the peace. They were simply bidding their time when to see when the U.S. Uh, uh, withdrawal will be complete. You're not going to have Afghanistan resolved to the peace table. You will see Afghanistan taken over by the Taliban. And the U.S. simply have that mindset. Don't forget uh, that uh, why should they be fighting other people's war? And uh, it's been going on right now. And uh, I don't see anybody that could change the way the Taliban feel regarding the peace since they know they become so emboldened due to their successes across the Afghan countryside. Well, many on the right, including former President George W. Uh, Bush, have expressed concerns about U.S. decision to pull out of Afghanistan. Do you also think that withdrawing, troop, uh, withdrawing the U.S. troops from Afghanistan is a terrible mistake that the American you know, government has made? I cannot speak for U.S. interest. I can also not speak for those who pay the ultimate prize in the field being the U.S. citizens. I, I can only say that Americans have done what they want to do best. It's just like Nigeria. If we feel very strong about the region for the insurgency, it's for us to come together and do something about it. Expecting outsiders to come and help us would be a very, very wrong strategy to take. Right. You want to fix Afghanistan, get the Afghans to fight themselves to change their country. If they don't want to, no outsider should force them to seek to live in any way. Don't forget why the U.S. went to Afghanistan in the first place. They went to Afghanistan because... George Bush felt that Afghanistan was the breeding ground for those who bombed New York Wall Street Center. And that was how they went there. And uh, they also thought they should remove uh, Russian influence. And then it became uh, a death trap for the U.S. soldiers. And the U.S. now felt, why do we need to kill our people just to make one place good? So they believe the original problem put was stopping the uh, terrorists who were using Afghanistan as their preparation ground before they strike the U.S. cities. They have done that, and they believe that's over. So uh, Afghan could burn if they want. That's what I believe the U.S. have now decided to do. Well, um, it's said that Afghan government forces are consolidating their positions to uh, protect population centers, and the fighting is expected to escalate in the coming weeks. So what kind of stories or headlines do you think uh, we might be hearing in the coming days? Well, if you can see how it is, uh, uh, there are also with the Taliban, uh, with, the, with the Afghan forces, 
most people who already have given them their minds that the Taliban is much stronger. You saw the massacre that was being denied by the Taliban of the Afghan commandos. What do you think will happen? If a commando unit believed that they would overrun, most of them would just readily give up power. So uh, then we will see from then on what the Afghan will do. I believe in the days to come, you're going to hear that, Af uh, that, that the Taliban forces have taken more of Afghan territory. And will that, of course, uh, that will make the peace call talk to uh, run to a conclusion when Taliban believe that they already have most of Afghanistan. Uh, they wouldn't be very, very, very uh, forthcoming in sitting on this peace table that I believe is what you'll be seeing going forward. As they consolidate their grip across Afghanistan, they wouldn't be very, very happy coming to peace cable. You will see more Taliban reluctance in pursuing the peace option. Well, we'll see what that's going to look like in the coming dates. You know, whatever it's going to be, you know, remains to be seen. Thank you so much for speaking with us, uh, security experts, catch on knowledge. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.